back again. Okay. I think we exhausted all the dialogue with the... Uh, our Hello again. How can I help keeper. you? I have this, but it's too low. Electrochemistry. What is this again? Love and be loved by drugs. Tolerance to alcohol and drugs, maybe? I am quite a sorry cop <laughs> walking around with the bottles. Oh. Fingerless gloves. That's cool. So these gloves give me interfacing and fingerless electrochemistry. Gasoline stained fingerless gloves in navy blue. They've uh, been worn threadbare but uh, being made of wool still provides some warmth and comfort. Fits right in with my hobo cop style. Water lock out of order until Wednesday 7 uh, 15 a.m. Which day of week today is? Oh, wait. Barry, can you hear me, buddy? Good day to you, officers. The hell is this? Is he holding a knife and a sausage? A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. Okay. So waterlock means this part, uh, like a gate, um, that locks the canal, uh, right? There's a smashed billboard in the canal. First thing first, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, man, on the water lock? My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the water lock. I'm keeping him company. And eating this salami. Mm. From the corner of your eye, you see a man in a yellow shirt and grey overalls waving at you from across the canal. He seems disappointed about the Those wreckage looks cool, on the look like look blue and the salami. Overalls. But okay. Very good stuff. Anything I can do for you, officer? Do you know what caused this wreckage? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershall. The words, daredevil driver, sound ominous to you. Why are they... Um, what is this tire? Why is this spelled so strange? Or am I crazy? Hmm. 
No, tires are sp sp spelled with the I, but also with the Y. Uh, tires is the standard American English spelling, whereas tires is the with with the Y is the British English. Spe okay, this is just another one of these British American. Ugh. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here, especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Do you know what's further down the coast? Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Fish market, church, fishing village. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. Hmm. Can get some more food. Seems like food just uh, restores your health and maybe morale. I, I was hoping that the sandwich will like give me some kind of buff. But it didn't. Sure thing. Oh, nice. Want some too, officer? He turns to the lieutenant. Why not? What the fuck? <laughs> he refused my sandwich, but uh, d d doesn't mind grabbing a salami from a stranger. Right, boy. Wait, what? Where is the salami? <laughs> Good day to you, officers. Sure thing. Want some too, officer? Why not? Lieutenant ponders the officer for a moment, then decides to go for it. He takes a slice of salami from the man and chews on it. So we instantly eat it, but it also doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. And what is this? A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be one of these, uh... Find, uh... A fuse missions. This panel usually closes the water lock turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samaran butter sign in the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Pull the lever up. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then nothing happens. I'm not going to do it harder because I'm afraid of just <laughs> dying, injuring myself and immediately dying. A spring brings the lever back to its original position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal some other way. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? Yeah, wh when is it though? <laughs> to get uh, to the coast, you need to use a panel to close the water lock. It's get, it's been blocked pending repairs, which should be done by Wednesday morning. Okay, just locked out area, that's fine. Uh... 
a helpline to the company that controls the drawbridge. Hot air rises up from the sewers, uh, sour, acidic and strangely comforting. Let the goods do the talking. Oh, maybe he can buy my bottles? You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. Happy shopping, officer! Everything's cool here! Hmm. What's so cool? Everything's cool. The goods are cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. And one more thing, officer. You're very cool. Bang, 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 bang. Hmm. He makes both hands into finger pistols and fires a few finger bullets into the air. Again, nobody told him to say bang, bang, bang. But he kind of did it, so uh, again, good, good for the for this voice actor. I don't know what happened to the to the guy who said uh, "tsk tsk." I guess somebody didn't give him a direction. Because <laughs> with others, it's consistent. So yeah. I'm not cool. What? No. I can't believe you said that. You got personal style. You know what you like. You like premium menswear. Look around and browse. Everything looks cool on a guy like you. Take your time. He settles back into the pile of boxes he's sitting on. Don't be distracted by the flattery and funny man act. Questions. Hmm. Persuade him to give you some money. That's nice. What kind of stuff? What kind of stuff are you selling here? Only the coolest goods in Revashol. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. Is there a discount for cool officers like me? No need for discounts at ceilings, officer. Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. He nods towards the crates. But did he first mark them up 100% just so that he could put them on sale? Are those two things really on sale or did you just check up the price first? My man, you know how the game is played. You and me, we should work together. What do you think? Shake things up? He winks. Do you have a permit to sell all that? Good joke, officer. <laughs> we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. It would be nice to have some leverage uh, on him. Kim, is that true? He doesn't need a permit to sell. It is, yes. Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. That's right. No permits, no bureaucracy. That's why this city and its low officials are so cool.
Wait, but what are we doing here if there is no permits? Look at Kim and the police insignia on his sleeve. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here to protect the interests of property holders. I am not, however. My man, officer, you make all this possible. Without you, this climate would be extremely bad for business. You're part of the Gossamer state. Gossamer is a fine, filmy substance consisting of cobwebs spun by small spiders, seen especially in autumn. It's safe to say he's referring to the near absence of regulations. Gossamer said, right at this school, I'm part of a hip, thin, almost non existent state apparatus. So cool guys protect businessmen while everyone else lives in the ruins. I can think of cooler things, but you're a foreigner, I'm protesting protecting the business interests of foreign nations. Then I'm protecting the state's lawlessness. I'm not an officer of law, I'm an officer of common anar anarchy. I don't really care that much about <laughs> this. Let the guy sell his things, it doesn't really matter. But let's be snarky anyway. So cool guys protect businessmen while everyone else lives in ruins. I can think of cooler things. Yeah, cool ruins. I get to sell quality goods like this by cutting out the middlemen. You don't have to rebuild your house, live in a crater or in a tree. Where can you do that? Only here. You're pretty sure you can live in a tree elsewhere too. But he wouldn't believe it anyway. Where'd you get those comfy pants? I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got sources, buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers. All extremely cool and above board. Also, what will happen if I get to the evening and won't have any money? <laughs> Can I actually sleep in a hostel? That's all then. Uh, let me ask you something else. Anything for you. Where are you from, Ceiling? Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. All Revachon. This man probably comes from Sea Guy, sometimes known as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samara Isola. You are from Apricot Suzerain. Suzerainty, right? Apricot Suzerainty calls to mind an era when the Sea Guy Archipelago was colonized by Revachol. It's a bit of a slur, in other words. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say that you're from. Pronounce it very painstakingly. Sea guy. Very cool. I admire your awareness of our intertwined histories. It's super nice of you to apologize for colonialism. But the apricot suzerainty is a shithole. That's why I left.
Right, but isn't the ho uh, it only a sheet hole because of a river hole? If you say so, officer, I don't worry too much about politics. I'm an entrepreneur, you know. Whatever is good for business is good for me. Man, it didn't get any higher. <laughs> mm. Well, let's try it out. Start with a little compliment, then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember. Hey, you seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local police force? Oh, okay. The man stops his face suddenly serious. Think of it as an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? He raises a brow, intrigued. Yeah, what can't he get out of it even? A protection? <laughs> Are we going to be a racketeers? As uh, an investment in me, a highly experimental human being. My risk reward ratio is insane. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm a policeman, it's an investment in good relations with the RCM. Yeah, also not great. Uh, a guy told me I need money to leave, otherwise it's a game over and I don't want to die. <laughs> I mean, the second one is the lesser evil. <laughs> the, the less sh shittiest one. I hear you, officer. What kind of a sum are we talking about here? Hmm. Well, yeah, one million real is a little bit too much. A fa five or ten is a little bit too little. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can't even buy a radio on ten real. A real. Like a fair deal all around. I, I'm not sure what the deal is, really. <laughs> I'm not actually providing any services to him, he just gave me money. <laughs> corruption. What do you mean by corruption? <laughs> I didn't do anything for him, he just gave me money. It's just like bus. Or Seagull, a kid watching out of a window describing things going by. He doesn't like it too much, but what do you do? Mm. What is this? There's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box. A variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the latest styles right here. Uh, the vendor takes a pair of sunglasses and sticks them under your nose. Abort. These are hideous. What's more, they don't even fit your face. You can feel them pinching your nose and chafing against your brow. Damn, officer! You look like a mega secret spy! Very secret! They're practically made for you! I'll let you have them for... Two real and fifty cents. No, you are definitely not buying those. You were right. I'm too sensible for those. Are you sure? But they look so good on you! These are all boring. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. The kind of plastic that melts in the sun. Those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these lenses probably direct more UV light into your pupils. 
a UV magnifier. These are all first-rate sunglasses. Premium design, superb material, very cool. UV resistant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool while doing your dangerous police work. Uh, try again, maybe you can find some interesting sunglasses in the box. Ah, I see. What the? Why well, there's no narration now? Ah, I see. A pair of water blue shades. The writing on the left temple says Sub Insulindic Rendezvous. Re yeah. Wait, re ren renders, yeah, rendezvous. The frame appears to be hand carved out of bone. Oh, very interesting choice, officer. Very high culture. For the first time, the street vendor's voice tails off as uh, he watches you inspect the glasses. This is how a sea monster sees the world. You've become a sea monster, giant, hidden, and strangely tender at heart. All is blue. Yes, but they also make your soul quiver like jello, so deep. Wow, officer, you look so cool. Mm, the street vendor has picked up his pace again. As you observe the world through deep sea tinted lenses. And they can be yours for a mere three real. My regular customers have passed them all up because they've got no taste. But you found them. Do I really need... Can I see the bonuses that the glasses give? Because like, it could be good. But also, why do I need to obstruct my vision with the... Like, uh, alter my vision with the blue tint when I actually need to, like, keep it as sharp as uh, possible. Kim, what do you... what about these? The lieutenant tilts his head and steps back, eyes narrowed in a thorough examination. It's a case to him. I mean, I want a skill check for this, so it's probably good. You look like a musician, like a blind musician, but you could do worse. Take them if you want. Uh, he declares, eyes still squinted behind his own glasses. Oh, here we go. Perception, yeah. Inland Empire is a hunch. Yeah. Minus one logic, plus one electrochemistry. Yeah, I need pr my perception. What else do we get? You see two lowly, defeated speakers. Thralls. Slaves, basically perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of found, durable wear sneakers. Ultra serious. I can see you were tasteful luxury officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers? <sighs> A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway. A jet black upper and a silver-lined midsole. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. That's a lot. <clears throat> I don't have the Only? money. That's madness. Found Ultra. We're the future. You remember the slogan from some magazine. Mm-hmm. Minus one encyclopedia. How does this work? How putting on shoes makes you dumber? <laughs> what the fuck?
Yeah, I don't like this the idea. It's understandable for like agility and maybe endurance in some way and like anything physically related. But yeah, encyclopedia, why? Inspect the speakers. These once respectable speakers have been conquered, reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable found ultras atop them. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers are the stars here. But I already looked at the sneakers. Then look at them again. These are the premium lifestyle sneakers, officer. The best on the market. Could I just buy the sad Concord Samaran speakers? No way, officer. These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Low fi socialist junk. But I need some speakers. Well, if you want them. He pauses for a moment, calculating. But see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I let go of the speakers, where will the sneakers go? I can't leave premium lifestyle sneakers on the ground. If, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. 50 cents? Damn. So you have to buy the sneakers first. I don't even know why I need uh, speakers. So it doesn't... Uh, I, don't, I don't really care. There are clothes inside. Cheap second-hand clothes. Smelling of strangers' body odors. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics. Best retro design. Save the economy with your style, officer. Save the economy? That sounds off. Save the economy? What are you talking about? Haven't you heard, officer? We've got to be economically conscious. Recycle your cash, keep it in circulation. Don't buy new things. Buy eco. This doesn't make much sense, make any sense. Why exactly does the economy need saving? Look around, officer. You see all these premium goods just sitting there, not getting bought? We've got to keep the flow of goods moving. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? It's just nature, powerful economies expand, weak economies go extinct. I can't go extinct, officer. I've got kids to feed. Once an economy goes extinct, it messes up the whole ecosystem. You've got to think about the consequences. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. So this is a skill check for composure. No good. All you can come up with are some treated wool pants. You can tell they're too tight around your thighs and too loose around the waist. They itch like hell. Like an itch pit in hell. All natural materials, see? Real wool, 100% skin friendly, and they're yours for only two real. What is half light? Well, 
And my pants give me electrochemistry. Save your fiery. What is this again? Sneak under their noses, stun with immense punish. Hmm, I, I would like to have some sneaking abilities, but I can't just go around without pants, right? <laughs> Nor can I. Actually, I already explored uh, quite a lot. Close for the winter, please use my lanterns. This looks like my lanterns. Goods from the lorry haphazardly littered the surroundings. Oh, the statue from the loading screen. Is here. Yes. Really, nothing new. A glossy magazine. Most able bodied men. This issue hosts a top 10 list. Jump Jams. A popular music mag. Welcome to uh, Announces the rotund man. The remark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to, to the lieutenant. Hmm, this dialogue is more like an early game. Hey, I know Revachol, that's where we are. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. What's happening? You sound angry, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. How's this turned into <laughs> nationalism talk all of a sudden? Yeah, weird. So we are in limbo. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. 
You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, wh why would I side with the, <laughs> I guess when we are going to play an asshole, we could uh, do that. I would stay neutral probably, but yeah, whatever, let's buck him up, up I guess. Fucking hey, Kim, I've got your back. You do make a cute couple, you know that. The Lorman spits. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now that's, uh, that's settled, we have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. He waits impa impassively. Uh, cigarette smoldering between his fingers. What are you holding? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Wait, for how long has it been going on then? The strike? Oh, they've been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Sounds like a cover story to me. Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. He loses his patience for explaining it. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular Koiko picked apples. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think. Oh, so they grow apples in Grad? Yep, it's one of their main exports. They grow him down South Yeko Katara. A beautiful place. Got great scenic vistas. In fact, Yeko Katara is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. Yeko Katara is not in the south. Uh... Not in the south, and they definitely don't grow apples there. Yeah? Says who? It's literally in the name, Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. Can I, I don't... I don't care... I don't... I'm not fond of repeating the same thing that I just heard. But... How would they make it different? Hmm... Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those Koikos. They're everywhere, except their own homes. You keep saying Koikos. What does that actually mean? It means the people living in Grad. Yeah, you know, Gradniks, Gradvolk, those degenerates from Grad. Okay, but why the word Koiko? Cause that's what they're all called. Koiko Pichik, 
Loslav Koiko, Koikovic, someone. <laughs> Low self-esteem, those guys have. Mind you, they look occidental, but they are not uh, really like us. Huh? Okay, so it's an ethnic slayer. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? So can I see the apples? Uh, did you miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? He looks at you with a strange glint in his eyes. Relax. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So he'd remain unaccountable. <laughs> so it's a waste of fucking time. You said something about the rise and privileges of Lori men? Oh, yeah, they're a big deal. My great grandfather was a carter, had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. Hold on, what's a carter? Someone with a cart. What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches. Before machines. And that's a privilege? It sure fucking is. We have a guild and everything, huh? Very ancient. Very prestigious. So it's kind of a union? Hell no. It's a guild. Invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But you can't replace experience. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice and no laughing matter. What was the, that argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Well, the second one will probably just end the conversation. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's going to be a nuance in, the, in this character. I get it, someone has to be unpopular guy. I'm not the only one. Look, I've read books. The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Race is a simplistic means of mm. social classification based on easily observed attributes, hunches, and pseudoscience. I mean, if it's a rhetoric thing, I guess I should go for it. You just look up what people and make arbitrary judgments. The lieutenant tries to remain impassive, but the slight arch of his eyebrow tells you that he's liking it. Yeah, so... <laughs> 
yeah, mostly following the the advices. Uh, seems to be as arbitrary good. as any judgment. That doesn't make it less of a fact. We all have to use facts. Huh? Once you accept it, you'll gain the clarity of understanding. Okay, what else have you thought of? So, lately we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. Occidentals? Are those... is this a race? It's a corporation. <laughs> no, wait. It means West, relating to the countries of the West. A native or inhabitant of the West. Occidental. <laughs> a Occidental race. Um... Yeah, what's the problem in that then? The problem? The damn kips are showing a real good game lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. He throws a sharp glance at Lieutenant Kitsukari. So th those are all slurs, I guess, I'm guessing. <clears throat> mosquitoes and in through your species cultural victory what is this then Wait, where is this cultural victory? It's what the Kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. This is through themselves. Uh -huh. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birthplace? place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I, I can get down with the racism. <laughs> That's so unbelievable, like, come on. Like, somebody who believes in this, he, he wouldn't call his, himself a racist, right? This, this, is, this just sounds strange. I don't know, his character is a little bit unbelievable, to be honest. Like, he's, he's too... He sounds too refined for the person who would believe all that a little bit too refined but I guess some people maybe could be that like he, he's too calm uh, talking about it too usually those kind of people are easily uh, hit up by these kind of conversations because you know They usually don't uh, have anything, any arguments, or run out of them very fast, and feel the need to uh, go more aggressive. Um, well. 
those two options are not great. Okay, sure, whatever. I'd uh, really rather talk about something else. So neutral, go aggressive yourself, and then <laughs> go down with the racism. <laughs> Okay, sure, whatever, I'd really l rather talk about something else. Actually, nah, like, what if I commit to this and then I get some thought process? <sighs> yeah, I guess, whatever, let's try it out. Because in games it's it's hard to know for sure what what's good or not in terms of gameplay yeah I'm not down for this why don't you go fuck yourself don't push your luck rent oh yeah <laughs> he can kill me uh, the man gives you a disgusted look then turns his attention elsewhere ignoring your presence Okay, we don't get anything. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? So, uh, walking around without pants didn't really uh, do anything. I mean, if I were designing this, I would have some kind of downside to this, you know? It's just strange. But, you know, in terms of stats, it's... Uh, it's good to do this. Okay, something in the garbage. A frit. Um... Uh, it's three T's actually. It wasn't a typo. So what this freight means? Is it a bar? <gasps> Money. Still going. Call me Manna. Manana. Ask a man with the. Asks a man with the jolly eyes tilting his head. You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics, though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. Would. Exactly is a scab. A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. You don't seem to like them much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? He looks at the mass, squinting his eyes uh, as if uh, trying to uh, ascertain what they are scared of. Personally, I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. It's uh, better than begging, come on. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. These scabs ain't begging. They ain't holding on to their integrity. What? <laughs> Isn't begging wouldn't be integrity?
Yeah, I'm a scab, poor and downtrodden, right to work. Good one, officer. Don't worry, we here have solidarity with the RCM. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here, to the wild north? Come to see the strife? So what's the conflict here actually? Are those people are re ready f to work for less money right now? I got the man in the boots uh, at the gates. Kuno said you know about the armor? Oh. This guy. I've come to Martini is investigating a murder. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. It's actually very fun and easy. You're right, it's almost impossible. I'm 91% sure I'll get... I'll never get it solved. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, I'm doing. Uh, maybe you want to help me solve it by telling me who did it. It's actually very fun and easy. I don't believe you. Post Laventurier said the same thing. They tried to get me to be their postman. So fun, so easy, they said. It's just walking. Who was Post Laventuri again? Was it related to mail? To the mailbox? Yeah, I think it's like a delivery company. It wasn't. I'm doing much better here at the harbor. Being an honest union man with a lot of free time on his hands. I'm exploring. <laughs> hey, you're the man in boots and uh, what? Hey, you're the man in boots at the gates. Kuna said you know uh, about the armor. <laughs> The little boy had the good on his promise. Yeah, why would you just tell him who said all that? Like, you want to keep your contacts hidden, probably. And you never know who might get angry about it. To get me into promise? trouble. To sick the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words. Not mine. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official union probe, you know. Track it down, see who took it. Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know? So I went to this boy. He said he'll make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere, and the cops in his pocket, and he's the king of jam rock. Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there, and it still got me into trouble. One bad move is all it takes. The probe into the armor, what did you learn? I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. What else? Not much. Technical stuff, mostly. That was the interesting part. So the Kuna used us what to scare you? It's a minor nuisance. It's all good. He contemplates taking a swig from his flask. What sort of technical stuff? I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. I didn't get into the material science, just how it comes off. How does it come off? In farts, 
four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. I believe him. The boots were still on the guy last I saw. Too hard to remove. So, as I count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Hold up. Four pieces, helmet, cuirass, gauntlets, boots. What about the leggings? Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. What? You mean it's just pants without armor, or what? Or is it just uh, kind of kind of a joke that you don't need to think about it because the developers forgot about the leggings? <laughs> like what? I'm ambitious. I am going to find all the all of it, all the pieces. All of it. There are junior officers out there, eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them, and I would leave the boots to processing. But okay, let's find all of it. It's implied. He finds it unlikely that you will succeed in this. A mess is epic then, all across Martinez. I hope it will be a real bonanza for you. Thank you for cooperation, sir. No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. He is sincerely grateful. He is not tracking down pieces of armor right now. What's this strike about anyway? You know. Serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be he glad smiles. to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. Okay. I'm a bit short on money right now. Can, can uh, you give me some, some, some of it? Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. Oh shit. He flips a coin toward you. <laughs> yeah, what? Hmm. Well, I hurt myself. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what will happen if I fail to um, The coin narrowly slips by your outstretched fingers and falls to the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do, passing around cargo and such. It was not meant as provocation or ridicule. The boy Adero stares at you with respect, then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. Hmm? What? It's not what it says. Trickles of blood? What, what is it? What the hell? Was it the wrong uh, sentence? Then Kitsuraki picks up the coin and hands it to you. Weird. Appreciate it. Right, always glad to help out the RCM. We're on the same branch, you and I. Humans, I mean, not slithering scabs. I need to know what's behind these great gates I'm exploring. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. He gazes over the roundabout with a glint of longing. What does 
this does this mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. He takes a swig, points up uh, the stairs uh, with his fla flask. If it's all so simple, why don't the strike breakers just go up the stairs? That simple. I just walk in. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Past Measurehead? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. He points at the bridge above the gates. Wow, there's a bunch of girls here. Then press Interesting the button setup. The door. Then press the button and unlock the door. Then go past him again. And you enter the arbor through the office. Está. So you're actually saying it's quite difficult. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Or you could convert to a semini supremacist worldview. Or hmm, maybe it actually is completely impossible. Have has anyone here ever bested him in a physical confrontation? Not yet, no. He's incredibly strong. He fixes his eyes on you and evaluating your prowess. Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> Has any of the scabs tried converting to his worldview? Jean-Luc himself would say the philosophy has proven overly heroic for the scabs to convert to. Not enough intuition. Got it, another thing. Sure. Nice dog, gotta get moving. So I need a hunch, which is Inland Empire. Great. The experience here. Do we have a skill point? Point no. Uh, let's make a break in the recording.